you know, we have a long-standing motto here. If you have one question and you call five SBA agents, yes. you will get 10 different answers. Yes. And here's what people are doing that we're discovering. We get a lot of questions in our YouTube videos. People are acting before they're contacting the SBA. Or they've contacted the SBA, but they're getting confusing directions and yes. advice from the SBA, which is why we created the guidebook. So you can sort that out. Yeah. For example, yesterday morning when I spoke to the SBA on this decline natural disaster loan, and she made the massively erroneous statement that the timeline for reconsideration, the clock started running on the date of the original application, which is wrong. I knew she was wrong, but you may not know that. In fact, the person on the phone with me who owns this business in California that was declined did not know that, that the clock started running the date the loan was declined, not the date of the original application. So he still had time. This is what the kind of insight that we provide in the guidebook. If you have a problem where you cannot make your payments, or you want to change the ownership, or change your address, move your business physically because there's changing a mailing address and then there's moving the business physically okay two different things reorganize your business maybe you're an llc you want to turn it into an s corp any number of things that can put you in default under the terms of the loan agreement that you signed because i don't trust the sba to not come after you later on because you did something that you shouldn't have done without checking with them first or mm -hmm. that you did things like sold assets that you are not allowed to do at all and there's simple simple things or you didn't submit financial statements every year which you're required to do these things technically put you in default so do you want to trust the government to not come after you because i I wouldn't. The United States government has a long memory. Okay. The other thing, too, if you think about the logic of the SBA or the lack thereof, this is an organization who, in conjunction and collaboration with another U.S. government agency, such as the IRS, they can't even get their act together to know the difference between an LLC with a Schedule C and filing a 4506 form having no record found because they're not connecting the dots on the social security number as opposed to the EIN as number. opposed to the EIN number or a sole prop that doesn't have an EIN number they just think that it's fraud and they flag your file and they'll decline it and not tell you why John hello I received yes. the EID loan I was wondering can I apply for another loan either a micro loan or express loan you can but again refer to our guide <laughs> contact the SBA take action because I addressed this in detail in our guide because what's going to happen, John, the SBA has a lien against the business if mm -hmm. the loan is more than $25,000 that you receive. And so SBA is in what we call first position. So any other loan is going to come in in second position and third position and fourth position. Think of it like a mortgage. You bought a house and you have a mortgage, which is called a first mortgage, and you get a home equity loan. That's a second mortgage, which means in the event of a default, first mortgage wins and gets all of the money at the sale of the house in a foreclosure and the second mortgage holder is left with whatever pennies are remaining and so because the SBA has this primary lien, John. That means you have to ask the SBA for what's called a subordination. And they have a process for it. If you want to learn how to interact with them before you call them, purchase our guidebook. If you want to just fire away and roll the dice. Well, the other reason we're saying the guidebook before you contact the SBA, because as I ex explained a couple of times so far on the show about my interaction with the SBA just yesterday, you're going to get wrong information. Yeah. You're going to get misdirected. You're going to be poorly advised and you're going to be given misinformation that is going to not properly or not even answer your question. Well, I want to answer Gregory Miller. So yeah. Gregory, these changes that were announced are only specific to the natural disaster loan program. Yeah. That means if you are if your home, your apartment that you rent or your business is located in a declared disaster area and you wish to get assistance from the SBA's Economic Injury Disaster Loan Program for physical damage, personal property loss if it's a home, economic injury if it's a business or a nonprofit, the natural disaster application loan program exists and these changes are specific to that program.